So the other day in the office, Daddy Troy asked me a very interesting question. Your house is burning down, you got the kids out safely, and you're allowed to go back in like you ever would be allowed to go back in, but you're allowed to go back in and grab one more thing. What would it be? Uh, computer. I think everybody would say the same thing, which indicates that this has become the most important family treasure for most guys. Because you play a lot of video games. Exactly, because I'm about to beat Plants vs. Zombies. No, because it's the archive that contains all of our precious family photos and other materials that we really want to keep safe. So today, we're talking about backing up and keeping safe your digital photos. Speaking of safety and security, today's show is brought to you by Baby Bjorn. Ecotech certified, it's the safest, best designed baby gear out there, Baby Bjorn. Obviously, the first thing you want to do uh, to keep your photos safe is get them out of the camera. There are some people who tend to leave, have really big cards in their camera, leave tons of uh, pictures on them, and never go and actually put them onto their computer. One, you fall in the pool, boom, 700 pictures, precious family photos, gone. One of the ways that I found useful is using this, this iFi Wi-Fi SD card. You put this in the camera and it automatically transfers the photographs from your camera to the computer anytime the camera is on and in the same room. So Dad Turner, when you're transferring photos from your camera to the computer, what's your, what's your protocol? What's best practice? Do a complete dump, keep them all, and save them for a later date just in case you need every single photo you took. Well, that's interesting because I have to call the herd. I mean, I, I bring in the photos and I about 30 or 40% of them, you know, it's out of focus, it's, uh, you know, it looks crummy, it's blurry. That probably happens to you too. No. No, because no, you're a professional I've, photographer. I've seen your pictures. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I definitely have to call the herd. And I also like to take things and put them into categories and into albums. I should disclose I'm a Mac guy. I have 8,100 photos in my iPhoto archive, and that takes up about 40 gigs of space, which seems to me like an awful lot. How much you got? Eight terabytes. Eight terabytes. So once you've got them transferred from the camera to the computer, uh, isn't that backed up enough? Isn't that no, you enough? have to get them onto another hard drive. I guarantee you, um, you know somebody whose hard drive has failed because you're looking at them. Here at Dad Labs, we've had three hard drives fail, the many that we've had. At home, I've had multiple hard drives fail as well. I've got a lot there. Do you like an automated process, or what's your backup process? I'm using Time Machine, which is an automated process. It's a Mac product. It backs up everything on my computer to the hard drive. I just hook up the hard drive and don't pay any attention to it. Is that the way you roll, or what's your process? I really th think it depends on the dad, um, how technically savvy he is, as well as how patience he has for figuring out the scripting process for backing things up. Some dads like it. Some dads have talked to have had some difficulties with that. Any suggestions as to, I mean, if some of these guys are going to fail, are some hard drives better than others? Should, should we shop for a certain amount of, of storage? Statistically, all hard drives have some sort of failure rate, so really, as long as you're going with a name brand, you can use your local Fry's or Best Buy, Tiger Direct maybe, to help you consult with um, which ones are name brand. Seagate, uh, Let's See, Mac Store, Western Digital are all pretty good brands. Do you really need a terabyte or? Uh... Yeah, you do, because how many gigs is this card right here? Oh, that's four. That's four. You know, you take a bunch of these and all of a sudden you're starting to fill up a 600, uh, gigabyte hard drive. Uh, do you need to do even further backup? Maybe do something online? A second level of redundancy is actually advisable. I don't think it's all for all families. A great way to do that would be through Facebook or Flickr. You're a dot .Mac guy. That's how you back up your stuff. Uh, how about the services like Mosey? Uh, you pay a small monthly subscription, less than 10 bucks a month, and they'll back up all the data you want. I'm intrigued by those, but it's a developing industry, so it hasn't stabilized yet in terms of what the product is and what the value is to the end user. They're still trying to figure out how they pay for it. Um, so I'm still a little reluctant to be a, an early adopter to that because my family and photos are too important for me to be an early adopter. However, uh, my dad's using it right now. He thinks it's a great service. It's really easy for him to use. And so I think it'll probably be the way we go in the end. And one more issue is that when you upload photos to a, another service, and it's different between um, among all these services we've talked about, but some will modify the photo as you upload it and make it a smaller version for them to post if you're using some sort of service that's not specifically a backup service. And if you want to ever print that beautiful photo of your daughter or son, then you would um, not have the high res version. Which brings up another way to back up. My wife loves it when I print out the photo. She yeah. just wants a hard copy that she can pin up on her board at the office. And of course, you can always order uh, these, a uh, lot of online services, including Mac, that's offering these books. You can print out uh, books of your phone. In fact, we did a Dad Labs episode on making these books. You should go check it out over at dadlabs.com. Well, thanks again to our sponsor, Baby Bjorn. Safe and secure, Ecotech materials, the safest you can find, Baby Bjorn. Dad Troy, thanks a lot. Yeah, we'll see you guys over at dadlabs.com.